For the first time in more than two years in captivity, they never congregated by any means. They stayed for as long as 40 days without food. Their lives remained in the balance. Here they are today, with a presidential determination to secure their release, the federal government made it possible for these 21 girls to be free. Rekindling their spiritual being, exhortations and prayers rented the air. We thank you because our daughters, Lord, you will fulfill your purpose in their lives. But as every member of the congregation bowed to the solemn mood, the church service came to a halt with outbursts of emotion when the parents of the girls arrived at the venue. <laughs> Defying the rains that trailed the arrival of the parents to the venue, tears of joy flowed uncontrollably. My people from Chibok, we are giving the government 100% support and we are sure and confident that the rest of these girls will soon be released. I've read on the social media, but no, don't mind them. This is just a scam. It's a diversion. We thank God that we've been vindicated. For the girls, freedom was completely out of their thinking while in captivity. But with what has brought about their freedom, their joy knows no bound. I'm very, very happy to see my mother and my, and my father. I'm very happy.